Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today what I'm doing is I am actually building a birdhouse that is a semi-scale model to my parents' house. So this is what my parents' house looks like. Basically what we're doing is we're just going to build a birdhouse that looks exactly like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just sketching out the basic shape of the house. It doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is go outside and take some measurements and then scale it down. Then after we'll write the measurements all in there and those will be our prints for these, for these, this project. So I'm just sketching in the windows, basically just sketching in any of the detail that I know has to be there just so I like, I know to go back and add it once the birdhouse is built. So I do have to say that the majority of the birdhouse, like all the perimeter and um, heights of the like main walls are all scaled down. The roof, however, is not. And I also didn't add the chimneys that you see here. I ended up not putting them on there just because it looked fine without them. So I'm just taking my construction calculator and I'm scaling everything down with that. Alright, so now what we're doing is we're just cutting the stock that we have down to the sizes we need. So always remember, cut all your biggest pieces first. Basically what that means is you want to cut all the big pieces first because more than likely you'll be able to take the smaller pieces off the cut off. So we're just going to rip these down to size on the table saw. I did, I, there was a few different sizes I need so I did all this first. I did all the table saw work first. Alright, we're all set with that. Then what I did is I went inside and I cut them all to length on the chop saw. I didn't have any video of that just because it's really dark in there and it wasn't coming out. So now I'm just dry fitting these just to see how they fit and then we will get gluing. Alright, let's start putting this together. So I'm going to start with the smaller half. So I'm just taking some wood glue and I am basically just nailing all of these together. So I drilled some pilot holes because this is just it's just pine so I just didn't want it to split or anything so I did some pilot holes uh, before I put the nails in. Alrighty, so now let's just do the same thing for the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to get two of the sides completely flush and square and then nail the other two sides down because you know if the bottom piece that you cut for the box or whatever you're building is a square corner that will square the box up in the same thing drill some pilot holes and put the screws in all right now let's start the bigger half so what i did was i laid out all my pieces again beforehand just because some of the pieces, like the two in the front, were very similar sizes and I didn't want to get it mixed up. So I just laid everything out first. And then I just started putting everything together. Same way, pilot hole, uh, nail, glue, and I did the same thing all the way around. Alright guys, so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my roof peaks and I am going to stick them on there, I'm going to nail them, glue them, then we'll be in pretty good shape. And right here, what I did was I just added a stiffener just to keep it nice and square. And I did the same thing to all the others as well. Alright guys, now what I'm doing is I'm going to go cut a few pieces just to stick in between the small peak and the big peak. These will act as like stiffeners for when I put the sheet metal roof on. Alright guys, so there's the stiffeners. Also, I went ahead and painted everything. This was kind of a tedious process and it just kind of was, would have been really hard to film the whole thing. So I just went ahead and painted it. You guys see me paint in another video 
It's not crazy exciting, so here's the paint. I put all the cats in the windows too. And right here, what I'm just gonna do is just add a nice satin clear coat to the entire thing to seal all the color in. And there we go, all painted. So I went and I cut a bunch of sheet metal, um, some for the small roof, some for the big roof, and then some covers for the peaks. And I'm gonna stick those on. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished product. We have the little dormer on, we have the roof on, um, pretty much got everything on. Sorry about the sticks. <laughs> the back's all good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, obviously that's it. The birdhouse is still right there. Um, I do want to apologize, uh, the little delay. I've been having on videos. I'm actually working nights right now in Boston, so I'm kind of sleeping all day. Um, I actually have to go to bed right after this. So um, just try to bear with me with that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed me building this birdhouse, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.